It's just a feeling we have that we're going to be rejected, but there's no evidence when we are rejected, it just feels incredibly painful. Hi, my name is George Sachs. If you have ADHD, it's likely you have something called RSD, which is rejection sensitive dysphoria. This is a sensitivity to rejection. Dr. William Dobson, a noted ADHD psychiatrist, came up with this term. It's very apt for the feelings that those of us with ADHD feel about rejection. The unique thing about RSD is it's a perceived rejection in that it's not something that we know for sure is going to happen. It's just a feeling we have that we're going to be rejected, but there's no evidence to this. Also, when we are rejected, it just feels incredibly painful, more so than a neurotypical person. So again, rejection sensitive dysphoria is not a diagnostic symptom of ADHD, but it should be in the next in DSM-6, maybe they'll add that. But it's a feeling of impending rejection that people in our lives, coworkers, bosses, family, friends, partners are gonna reject us without really any evidence that this is actually gonna happen. So how do you manage rejection sensitive dysphoria? Well, the most important thing is to be aware that this is actually happening and to be able to tell yourself, oh, that's what this is. This is the RSD sneaking up on me again. Here it is and almost make friends with it. So awareness is really important. And then mindfulness. And what mindfulness is, is allowing space between thought and action, allowing for a breath between the thought that we're going to be rejected and any action we have, any acting out we do to uh, make sure that isn't going to happen. And often that acting out, whether in the form of angry outbursts or calls of reassurance or whatever we do, everybody has a different way of reducing this RSD feeling by trying to get reassurance that we're actually not being rejected. But more often than not, that is really unhelpful and actually can cause rejection that wasn't there in the first place. So mindfulness puts a pause between the thought, oh my God, I'm going to be rejected and the action of doing something that's not helpful. Mindfulness looks like taking a breath. And that's why having a mindfulness practice and meditation practice is so essential for ADHD, for managing ADHD, because it allows us to slow down and think, yes, okay, here we are with RSD again my friend, I now need to sit with this feeling. So what can we do besides just sitting with it? If you have a partner, close person in your life or a friend, it is valuable to tell them about your RSD. And that way, if you're having a kind of RSD attack, you can say to them, I, you know, my RSD is kicking in. I really need a hug. This sense of getting reassurance from the other person, I don't necessarily recommend outside your primary relationships because obviously the level of intimacy is higher. That's limited to people really close to you in your life. You can also have a therapist too that you tell. I'm having an RSD moment. I really need to book a session with you. In lieu of that, what can we do? I think it's really important to sit with the feelings. And that's really incredibly painful. But to really feel the feelings, let them be and acknowledge them and know that this is a part of us, maybe born out of trauma. Or if you have ADHD, there's a real possibility that you were actually rejected as a child. And these feelings are kind of hardwired into the body. As they say, the body knows the score. And so they're going to be there. We can do other forms of treatment like EMDR. You can work with a therapist on the original trauma, the original rejection. And EMDR is eye movement where you, the therapist leads you back and forth through the story of the original trauma or rejection while moving your eyes back and forth. Or this can be done with sound, but basically stimulus is crossing the midline of your brain. And that seems to really work for trauma. There are some techniques and therapies out there that can help you if you have RSD with trauma. But I think it's really important to acknowledge it and to seek support. Getting connection from friends that value you or family is really important to soothing that RSD moment. This is a little bit about RSD. If you want more information about RSD and managing it, check out the Inflow app and follow this channel. My name is George Sachs, psychologist and co-founder of Inflow. I'll see you later.